In this video, we're going to use Perlene Noise to procedurally generate our world, but we're also going to add deposits. And we're going to use random deposits, but we will be able to affect the frequency and the size of the deposit. So I have some gravel right here. I got some sand down there. We also want to affect the level and the elevation at which the deposit can form. So I'm going to pause the video so you can see the stone layer where we have coal. So here I stripped off the grass and ground layer so you can take a look at the stone. We have our little coal deposits. Like I said, you can make the deposits bigger and smaller or more frequent and less frequent. Let's go ahead and get started with that. Now, since this is gonna be the fifth video in our playlist and maybe you weren't following along and you don't wanna follow along or you didn't get it working, I'm gonna put this game from the last video in the description. Let me know if you have any trouble opening it up. You should be able to come here, hit these three dots, edit in studio, and then you'll be able to follow along exactly. Now, if you open this up from the website, you probably don't have the train manager open. You probably have something like that. That's all right. Let's go over to our Explorer and find the terrain manager, that script that we were looking at a minute ago. We want that server script service, open that up, terrain manager. All right, and I got a lot of constants right here. I'm gonna scroll down to seed, right? And seed is going to change the overall world, right? The general seed. If you change this number, you change the world. If you keep it the same, you're gonna get the same formation every time. Let's call this, before I add stuff, let's call this gen underscore seed for the general seed. And now I'm going to add a seed for each deposit. How about coal seed, right? And I'm just going to make this number bigger. We don't want it to overlap on our praline noise, um, at least not exactly, right? And then we'll do gravel seed. It's not a big deal if it does overlap, right? So we'll do what? Uh, make it a little bit bigger. Uh, let's see. That, that's good, right? And then let's do uh, sand seed. All right, you can play around with these numbers too to get different different worlds. I'm gonna make that even bigger. How about one, two, three, four, five? There we go. Now these two constants here are how thick do you want your grass layer? And I have it as one block thick. And how thick do you want your ground layer? So we're not doing like a heterogeneous thickness for these two layers right now. I think I'll make that one. And then when we work on our stone, if we wanna see the stone, we'll just make the zero and zero so we can see the stone and then switch them back. Let's add a couple more constants. Now let's do our deposit frequency and deposit size. So we're gonna do some constants for that. We'll do local, how about coal blob? And this is gonna be the size. Let's do 0 0.02, we'll start out at that. That's pretty good. I'm gonna put a note here, cause it's counterintuitive. Higher, higher number, smaller blob. So when you're adjusting them, you kind of know. You're gonna need those hints. It gets a little confusing after a while. Let's do another one for the frequency of the deposit. So I'm gonna say, how about coal threshold? Probably should've gotten an easier one to type. I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger. Let's do dash dash. And this one, higher number, rarer blob. Now let's do one for gravel and one for sand. I'm gonna copy these because I'm also gonna keep those, uh, what do you call those comments? Do a control V, control V. This one's gonna be for gravel. Whoops, gravel. And maybe I'll make this one a little bit smaller so we have more gravel. And then what about the frequency of it occurring? How about 0.2, that'll be good. And then this one, make sure we got our gravel here. Control C, Control V. This is going to be sand, right? And then we could do one for iron too. I think I'll just go with three today, though. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. And then what? What value for here? I think I'm going to have a lot of sand, so I'm going to do 0 0.05. And then this one, how about 0 0.3, just to make it a little different. Now let's add two more constants so we know how to do a little more control over our deposits. I think I'm going to keep this fine because I'm only going to put that in the stone. But here I want to change, I want to control elevation, right? Mostly just so you know how to do it. So gravel goes anywhere in Minecraft. But we are going to say, how about gravel min elevation? I'll just do 
E L E V for that. And that's going to be block height. Let's put a little comment here. So remember, whoops, only spawn deposit at or over. How about that? At or over this value. And then for sand, let's just have that spawn lower. This is mostly so that you know how to do that control, like diamonds and stuff like that. You don't spawn too high up. Let's do a control V. I just copied that. I'm going to make this sand. And then this is going to be max elevation. You want to do six. There we go. At or under this value. Now let's add our block properties for our new stuff, right? So we have our block props. Oh, there it is. Block props right here. We have grass, ground, and stone. We are going to add coal, gravel, and sand. So I'm just going to copy this. Control C. I'm going to scroll my code a little bit. There we go. And then do a control V, control V, control V for our three new ones. And let's do coal first. I like to keep them in order. And we could change the material. You can keep it slate if you want, if you like that. I'm going to go marble. I think marble looks cool. And then make this darker, right? So the lower numbers. How about 35 by 35 by 35? That's basically the background of our integrated development environment. That'll work though. How about gravel? All right, gravel. Do we want to keep that slate? Nah, let's do let's do something like pebble. That's pretty good for gravel. And it's gonna be like a grayish color. Let's change our color. How about 140? Maybe a little bit of a red to it. 170, 140, 140. I like that. That that'll work. That'll work. I just played with these numbers. Pick whatever you want. And then we'll go to sand, right? Sand. And we have sand in Roblox. What color should we do for that? How about like, make it bright. How about 240 by, I don't know, 205 maybe by 145? That'll look good. Now let's make three helper functions. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. I think I'm gonna put them right above the make block, right? That makes sense. How about we do a function for is coal? Do we wanna spawn coal? GX, GY, GZ. Those are our grid coordinates, right? For our terrain. Let's copy this. Control C, Control V. This is gonna be is gravel is gravel it's gonna be a little different though because we need to know the top y of our little gravel column and then ooh, i'm gonna do this one too because we need we still need the top y for the sand right we did a an elevation restriction on that sand now let's fill in our coal we got to find out whether we're going to make a coal or not let's say Local n, that's going to be our value that we get from the math.noise function, the Perlin noise. We're going to have our gx, gy, gz, and we need to put some modifiers here, right? So gx times coal blob, right? Because this is some three-dimensional windy curve, and the closer you are to your last point, the more likely it's going to be close to that point. Well, it's going to be closer to that point and we'll have more chances to make our blob bigger. That's why the smaller the number, the more likely we are to make another piece of coal where we are on this curve, right? I know it's conceptually, it's kind of hard to understand. I'm going to put this in the next line so that we can see it a little bit better. So we have our, our GX times coal blob, GY times coal blob, GZ times coal, coal blob, plus we want our seed right? And I'm just going to put it on the Z, right? Call seed, just so these three noise functions are slightly different. We can just copy this, control C, control V, control V. This is going to be gravel blob, right? Gravel blob. There it is. And every IDE is a little bit different the way you do your cutting and pasting. There we go. There we go. And this is gravel too, right? Sweet. And then we need one for sand down here, right? So this is going to be sand. There we go. Sand blob, control C, control V, control V. That's going to be the sand seed. Sand. 
Right now, we're going to have to return a true and a false. That's the whole concept of calling it is call, right? It's, it's a Boolean. Let's do a return. How about n? Is n greater than the call threshold? Right? If it is, it's going to be true. You could do greater than or equal to, right? But greater than is fine. How about a control C? And then let's come down here. We got to do one for gravel. Whoops. I don't want to go down two. How about one? And then this is going to be gravel. Is n greater than the gravel threshold? Let's just, just let's just spell it out, right? Oh my goodness, I didn't think it was gonna be that hard. There we go, gravel gravel threshold, and then we got one here. Control V. This is gonna be the sand threshold. Nice. Now these two have elevation thresholds, right? We have our is sand and is gravel. Let's look at is gravel. So we'll say uh, if top whoop, top Y capital Y is less than gravel we had min is that what it was gravel min l then well we return false right it's like nope we are not high enough up and then let's just do this control c all right we'll go the other way for sand we'll go how about like that and this is max this is sand max l sand max elf now let's scroll on down to create terrain block and we are going to modify this area in here so under depth from y i'm gonna i'm gonna get rid of some of this redundancy here let's do a variable for the name of the block i'm gonna call it type name let's make it nil for now we get down here if the depth from top is less than the grass layer. That's fine. I'm gonna grab this, control X to cut it on the bottom here. I'm just gonna make one call and whatever the type name we put in will be the type of block. And that way we could get rid of, I'm gonna get rid of this stuff right here, right? That's the ground. Maybe make it a little bigger there so we have some more room to work. There we go. What happens in our grass depth? Well, we'll default the type name to grass. And then we'll say, if is gravel, we'll put our GX, GY, and GZ in there. And then we'll have our top Y to make sure that our elevation restriction is being respected. Uh, let's do a type name equals so if that returns true, then we're gonna make a gravel. All right, and then let's, let's do an else, right? Let's do an else if. Else if is sand, right? Because this is gonna be on the, it's gonna be on the grass level, whether we have sand or gravel. How about a G, I probably should have cut and paste there, right? A GX, a GY, and a GZ, and also a top Y, All right? Oops, oh, we, oh, we got our, our then got, put in there by, by uh, default, I like that. Type name will be sand. So the default will be grass, but if it is a gravel, then we'll change it to gravel here. And then if it's a sand, we'll change it to sand. And then we'll make the block down here. So I'm gonna get rid of this extra space now. Let's go to our ground level. Well, what are we doing on ground level? Well, ground, that didn't change, right? Let's do uh, just ground. That'll work. And then when we get to the stone layer, we'll default that name to stone. Say, hey, when in doubt, stone. And then we'll say, if is coal, right? Don't we have our GX, GY, and GZ? And we have our, we, oh, we didn't do a top for that one, right? You could, but we didn't do a top for that one. And then we'll say, oh, if it is coal, then we're just gonna change this type to coal. And then make block will be just like we did in the last video. You just have to remember, you have to put your block properties in if you make new stuff. Let's try it out. Let's hit our play. Now it is a little slow on server startup because we're making all of our blocks, but not too bad, right? And look at that. So we have some sand down here in the lower elevations. We have some gravel in our upper elevations. 
looking good. Let's take a look at our stone layer to make sure that we're getting our coal deposits. So we go to Terrain Manager. I'm going to scroll all the way up. And then, oh, here we are. For our grass layers and our ground layers, let's just put these at zero right now so we can take a look at our stone. Yeah, a little bit slow. That's all right. And there we go. So you could change those numbers if you want bigger deposits or you want less deposits, however you want to do that. Nice. I'm going to go back to my terrain manager. I'm going to change this to like, I, I liked one in one. And then now let's be able to mine them. So that was the procedural terrain with deposits portion of the video. Let's just make it so that we could mine the coal and, uh, and the sand and the gravel. Well, if we're going to hold blocks, we got to go to our player manager. And that's probably the part you'll forget. And here we go. We have our grass, our ground, our stone. Let's just do some cutting and pasting. Let's do a control C. Control V, Control V, Control V. And one of these is going to be coal, right? Coal. Coal. You're getting the idea. Control C, Control V. Uh, maybe I'll start with this one here. Gravel. And then this is going to be gravel here. This is going to be gravel here, but with a capital G. And then this is going to be sand, right? Control C, Control V. Control V, capital S. So in order to mine it and pick it up and manipulate it, put it in a backpack, we come down here and in server storage, we made tools for all of our block types. I'm just gonna get that stone block right here. I'm gonna do a control D to duplicate it and another control D and another control D. One for coal. Should we change it now? Yeah, let's change it now. Coal, remember we have to change the handle too. We gotta change the material and the color. Uh, this is gonna be gravel. Whoops. Oh my goodness, there we go. Gravel, and then this is gonna be sand. Cool. Let's go to our terrain manager so we get our properties right. We're gonna go down to block props, and then here we have our material. So go to coal, open coal with that little arrow thingy, hit the handle, we're gonna go down to the color. All right, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna get these 35s for our coal color. And I'm going to put it right here in this color, not the brick color, because I want the actual numbers. And then paste. Nice. It's kind of this uh, blackish color. And then what do we do? Marble. We did do marble. I hit an M there. That's looking good. And you could check it out, but I know that it's going to be the way I want it. And then we'll go to gravel, right? What's gravel? Gravel is what? 170, 140, 140. Control C. And there we go. Yeah, that'll work. And then pebble. So for the material, instead of slate, let's do P for pebble. Cool. And then we got one more. Might as well copy this color thing here right there and open sand up, go to the handle. Control V for the color. Nice. And then this is gonna be sand. All right, let's try this out. Oh man, they changed the UI again in Roblox. We hit the play, and now I don't know where the output window is. I'm guessing it's here. There we go. All right, let's try it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can mine some gravel. That's pretty good. Let's see what our gravel looks like. Good, right? And we, have, uh, we don't have any errors. Awesome. Should we try some sand? Uh, oh, there we go. I guess I, I messed that click up a little bit. That's all right. Sand. Can we stack it? Sweet. Can we stack some gravel? Right. Looking good. Now, in order to try our coal, rather than digging around all day and trying to find it, let's just turn this off. Uh, we're going to cheat a little bit. We're going to go to the train manager. We'll go to our layers. Zero. Zero. Let's try it again. Look for some coal. There's some coal. There. Coal. Can we stack it? We can stack it. Looking good. All right, so I will see you in the next video.